大家好，欢迎来到今天的蜜蜂财富要闻。澳股盘后，美股盘前。今天是二零二一年七月十三日，所有数据更新至今日澳洲东部标准时间五点。我是助理分析师子熙。今天的报告内容包括行情咨询和市场扫描。市场扫描行爱 ASX 两百一日表现和 ASX 仙股一日表现。下面我们浏览一下今日的行情咨询。Fund numbers double in two years amid ESG boom. The number of sustainable share funds around the world surged beyond 2,000 this month. Uh, doubling within two years as asset managers rush to unveil new offerings in one of the hottest corners of financial markets. ASX 0.2% higher in afternoon trade. The Australian share market is 0.2% higher today, with just over two hours left of trading. China's export growth unexpectedly accelerates in June. China's Exports unexpectedly surged in June, helping to underpin the economy amid signs the recovering is starting to slow. 下面我们看到市场扫描 ASX 两百指数今日收于七千三百三十二点一点，当日下跌百分之零点零幺九。下面我们看到今日 ASX 涨跌榜涨幅前三名分别为 NEA 上涨 14.36% p r n 上涨 6.92% i p l 上涨 5.76% 跌幅前三名分别为 PTM 下跌 8.26% w h c 下跌 2.93%。RSG 下跌百分之二点四六，成交金额排行榜前三名分别为 BHP， 呃，成交金额二点九一亿 ；CBA， 成交金额二点二四亿 ；FMG， 成交金额二点幺二亿。现在我们看到今日 ASX 仙股涨跌榜，成交金额一百万以上的仙股涨幅榜，前三名为 YFZ 上涨 77.45% i n d 上涨 75% i c q 上涨 60%。成交金额一百万以上的仙股跌幅榜前三名为 FEX 下跌百分之四点七一 ，FFX 下跌百分之三点五七 ，BOE 下跌百分之三点二三。仙股成交金额五百万以上股票分别为 ICQ 成交金额七百二十七万 ，PRN。成交金额七百万 ，FEX 成交金额五点五百四十七万。We'll be now looking at the top gainers of the SX 200 today. Um, in first place, the biggest gainer today was um Neomap Limited or NEA. Um, it opened it closed today at two dollars twenty seven, which is fourteen point three six percent higher than when it opened. Uh, Neonmap, a software and um, services uh, company, provides geospatial mapping technology to commercial, corporate, and government customers. Um, it has a market cap of um, 1.1 billion Australian dollars. Um, as we can see in these charts, um, over the past three years, it has been um, a bit choppy, um, with with the prices rising and dropping um, consecutively, um, and this pattern has also been following for the past five years. 
Uh, the next biggest gainer today was Parenti Global Limited or PRN. Um, it closed today at 85 cents and it is up 0.92%. Um, um, Parenti is a materials company um, uh, which has operations in open pit mining, underground mining and mining support services. Uh, it has a market cap of 599 million Australian dollars. Uh, this stock has been featured a lot in our recent reviews um, and we have been watching it very closely. Um, however, as you can see in these graphs, um, the prices are very unstable and has been so throughout its whole history. Uh, uh, the next biggest gainer today was IC Tech Pivot Limited or IPL. Um, it is up 5.76% today and closed at $2.57. Um, so IPL is a materials company uh, and is a globally diversified industrial chemicals company that is contributing to the production of infrastructure, food, clothing, housing and energy um, used for its using its nitrogen manufacturing capabilities. Uh, and it has a market cap of 4.9 billion Australian dollars. And as we can see in these graphs, um, since COVID last year, it did take a hit. However, um, from these trend lines, we can see that it has been slowly recovering. Um, of the biggest losers today in first place is Platinum Asset Management Limited or PTM. Um, it is in the multi-finance industry group and it is down 8.26% today, dropping, closing at $4.22. Um, Platinum is a company, um, uh, a fund managing company um, focused on international equities and the majority of their shares are held by its employees and it has a market cap of 2.4 billion Australian dollars. As we can see in these graphs, um, again, like many other companies, it has been growing over the past year. Um, however, in the long term, it has been in a steady decline. Uh, another big loser today was Whitehaven Coal Limited or WHC, and it is in the energy industry. And it is down 2.93% today. Um, Whitehaven Coal Limited is a coal explore, exploration company and operates in mines all over Australia and has a market cap of um, 2 billion. Um, as we can see in these graphs, um, in the past three years, it has been experiencing um, a lot of decrease. Um, however, if we look further back um, to five years, uh, it peaked back in 2018 and has been in decline and has plateaued ever since. Uh, another loser today is Resolute Mining Limited or ISG, also in the materials industry, it, and it dropped 2.46% today. Um, RSG is an exploration, development and operations company that operates uh, nine gold mines in Australia and Africa. It has a market cap of 657 million Australian dollars. Uh, as we can see in the annual graph uh, from 2020 to 2021, it has been a, experiencing uh, very little growth and has been gradually uh, decreasing in price. And again, in three years and the five year graphs, we can see that over the last five years, it peaked at a height of $2. And however, now is uh, much lower, lower at only around 50 cents in price. Now we will look at the highest trading value stocks of the ASX 200 today. Uh, first up is BHP Billiton or BHP. And it closed today at um, $50.07. It is in the in, uh, materials industry. Um, this is one of the biggest blue chip stocks in the ASX and is often mentioned within um, our reviews as it often has the highest trading values every day. And it has a market cap of 
149.35 billion Australian dollars. And as we can see in this graph, um, in the first, in the last year, it has been um, experiencing um, gradual growth, and that trend line continues to grow. Um, and as we can see in the past, it has always performed very well and only experiencing um, major minor drops um, when COVID hit last year. And another high trading value company today was the Commonwealth Bank of Australia or CBA uh, within the banks industry and it closed at $98.39 today. Um, it is a financial services provider including banking for retail, commercial and institutional banking and has a market cap of 174.5 billion Australian dollars. And similar to BHP, um, given its blue chip title, it has been always growing gradually, but slowly, and has since picked itself up um, since the crash from COVID last year. Um, Another company with high trading value today is Fortesque Metals Group Limited or FMG and it is in the materials industry and it closed today at $25.18. Um, um, FMG is an exploration development um, and mining company that focuses on iron ore deposits and it has a market capitalization of $77.5 billion Australian dollars. Uh, as we can see in these graphs, um, it has been experiencing a very well, very good growth over the past um, past five years, actually, and um, ever since 2019, it has been on a constant bull market. Um, next, we will talk about the biggest gainers today in the penny stocks. Uh, first up, we have U Foods Holding limited or YFZ and it is in the food beverages and tobacco industry. Um, U Foods is an Australian ready to eat healthy meal company that manufactures and sells ready to eat healthy meals and has a market cap of 122 million Australian dollars. Uh, as we can see in these graphs, um, it is a very recent company and that only IPO very recently and has been um, performing not very well over its um, one year of IPO. Um, however, it is a company that is worth looking out for. Uh, next is Industrial Minerals Limited or IND in the materials industry group. And it is up 75% today. Um, IND uh, explores and develops industrial minerals, including um, gypsum and salt, silica sands, construction sands, and aggregates. And it has a market value of 9.6 million Australian dollars. Um, Industrial Minerals Limited officially IPO'd today. Um, next, we have ICAR Asia Limited or ICQ, um, and it is in the media and entertainment industry, um, growing 60% today and closed at 48 cents. So iCar Asia um, owns and operates digital car portal networks um, within three major ASEAN automatic, uh, automotive markets, including Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand, and has a market cap of 212 million Australian dollars. Um, as we can see um, in these charts, um, during the recession last year, it was very, it was hit very hard. However, has since um, recovered and bounced back. Um, Next, we'll look at the penny stocks that declined the most today. In first is Phoenix Resources Limited or FEX in the materials industry. Um, so Phoenix Resources Limited is a resource exploration company that currently owns the Iron Ridge project, which is located 600 kilometers northeast of Perth and has a market cap of 119 million Australian dollars. Um, um, since it's Initial IPO a few years back, it has been experiencing um, gradual growth and has been relatively stable. Another major loser today is Firefinch Limited or, F or FFX 
and it is also in the materials industry group. Um, Firefinch Limited um, has been an active gold prospector in Mali, Africa's third largest gold producer since 2011, and has a market cap of 368 million Australian dollars. As we can see in these graphs, uh, it has since peaked. Uh, since it has peaked in 2019, um, it has since um, recovered most of those losses, um, as we can see in these graphs. Another major loser today is Boss Energy Limited, or BOE, um, also in the materials industry. Um, Boss is an Australian-based mining exploration company focused on nickel and copper projects in Sweden and Finland. Um, it has a market cap of 342 million Australian dollars. Um, as we can see, over the past three to five years, it has been um, experiencing tremendous growth and has been relatively stable across its history. Um, of the highest trading value penny stocks today, in first place is ICAR Asia Limited, ICQ, um, which was also previously mentioned and yeah, has been performing relatively well. Uh, next up is Parenti Global Limited, or PRN, um, which we have already discussed previously and has been trading relatively well and has a very high trade volume. Um, and finally, we have Phoenix Resources Limited, or FEX, uh, which we have also covered today. These are the resources used for today's presentation and thank you for listening.